fellow Gambians and residents of the Gambia. As we celebrate Christmas tomorrow, I praise and thank the Almighty God for sparing us to witness this blessed day, because this great religious feast marks the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It comes with multiple implications and carry different meanings for different people and communities worldwide. Recognizing the dynamic nature of religion and its great potential to change lives and transform nations, the theme of my Christmas message this year is harnessing religious tolerance for peace, unity and development. I call on all to ingrain our religious values in our daily interactions, but be mindful of religious extremism. Indeed, religion has divided communities without excluding those who serve the same religious beliefs. Fellow Gambians and residents of the Gambia, there is consensus that Christmas should inspire reflection on the life of Jesus Christ and the teachings, principles, and values of the great religion he preached. Fortunately, the key values cherished in the Christian world are in perfect harmony with the common values observed globally. In this short message, I must mention love, compassion, honesty, sincerity, hard work, and uprightness as indispensable values needed to harness religious tolerance for peace, unity, and development. Religious practice implies understanding one's responsibilities and duties which should lead to playing one's role in society without harming anyone else. Crime, injustice, and the suffering experience in the world often arise from disregard for social values, the law, and the attitudes that religion promotes. Effectively, harnessing religion for peace, unity, and development requires that we educate ourselves better and use our various institutions for this purpose. We must also focus on the common grounds within which we can all operate productively without chaos. Like other religious feasts, Christmas can contribute to achieving this. One may ask how. Well, Christmas is generally associated with renewal of one's faith and commitment, caring, sharing, and worship. It draws attention to the purpose of life and how to lead decent lives guided by universal norms and values. Christmas creates the opportunity to redefine one's relationship with God and his creation. It fosters love and care for human beings, the lower animals, the environment, and the resources put at our disposal. These basic teachings can solely make a citizen better disposed to serve one's nation more usefully and contribute to the advancement of society. Fellow Gambians and residents of the Gambia, our survival as humankind rests on our capacity to tolerate and embrace one another and our willingness to allow those around us enough space to walk and live happily. It also lies in the environment we create in our institutions for success, in our ability to be of service to others, and in our readiness to care for the weak, the sick, the poor, and all those in need of love and care. Emphatically, too, our development and progress 
depend on ensuring that our national projects and programs are implemented unhindered, and that public property, including our infrastructure, are safe, utilized properly, and protected from misuse or abuse. Our nation will not develop unless we allow all this to prevail. In addition, political differences, ethnicity, and other divides must not tempt anyone to become counterproductive, subversive, or force as anti-government agents. Fellow Gambians and residents of the Gambia, my government is determined to protect religious freedom within the context of the Constitution and our democratic arrangements. I assure you of good governance, respect for the rule of law, and regard for the basic rights of every citizen. Furthermore, I assure you of inclusive development and participation in the affairs of the country. Fellow Gambians and residents of the Gambia, I congratulate all Christians on this blessed season. In particular, I appreciate the invaluable contribution of the Christian community in the Gambia to the development of the country and their cooperation with my government. The Gambia Christian Council has been instrumental in fostering a close and cordial relationship between the Christians and non-Christian communities in the country. We are grateful for this. The charitable acts that Christians carry out are similarly valued, and we encourage them to remain on detail. I plead that you maintain the interfaith dialogue and cooperation that exists in the country. Let us continue to serve as a model country for religious tolerance, a country where religion is not a source of conflict and disharmony, but a blessing and a means of unifying the people. By religion and political affiliation, other forms of association do not make us different citizens, no matter what we believe in, how we live, and what status we hold. We must jointly share the land and the natural resources within it. In the same way, we are bound to coexist as Gambian citizens and neighbors. The unrest and instability experienced in our countries should allow us to work together to develop the country and live together in sustained peace and harmony, conscious that our national plans and policies must be implemented if we are to make much progress. The task of nation building invariably rests on every Gambia. I pray that Christmas strengthens our love for one another and reinforce our commitment to the advancement of the nation, regardless of who we are, what we stand for, where we come from, or what our interests are. I urge the Christian community to maintain the discipline, tolerance, and selfless service they are known for, and continue praying for the welfare of the people. While the peace is not disrupted this year by any academic or calamity, let us celebrate Christmas moderately and avoid harmful behavior. In the same way, let us be watchful of those who may seize the opportunity to engage in crime. The task of keeping our neighborhoods and nations safe is everyone's responsibility. Relatedly, tolerance is a key characteristic of Gambian society, which we need to step up, unite to develop the country, and put the interests of the nation first. I pray that we have a blessed Christmas season 
that will inspire us to return to work committed enough to serve as better citizens. Merry Christmas to all of you. May God bless us. Thank you.